What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Dumpster Diving Millionaires. Today I've got some exciting news. I got this whole packet of paper here. This is all of the receipts from the scrap metal that I dumpster dove for and turned in this year. So I've got some grand totals I'll be sharing with you in just a minute. But first, I want to talk a little bit about where this video is going. So I'm going to talk about 2023 in review going to go through some of the highlights of the different videos from dumpster diving this year, cool things that we found, how much money we made. Then I want to talk about what we're going to be doing with the channel in 2024, what you have to look forward to. So without further ado, the grand total for the year, and this is actually a little bit lower than what I actually did because I had two loads I turned in after they printed this off and there were several loads that I turned in uh, that they, because they weren't paying for steel at the time, they didn't weigh it, so I, just, I probably dropped off four or 5,000 pounds uh, beyond what this says, but my net weight was 39,418 pounds, and total I was paid $3,144.50. Now I'm gonna add about $100 to there for the last two loads that I brought in, and add maybe maybe 3,000 pounds. So I think we recycled around 42,000 pounds of metal this year. And here's something I found that's really cool about that. Let's just look right here real quick. 70% of all steel produced is still in use. Using scrap steel instead of virgin ore reduces CO2 emissions by 58%. Recycling one ton of steel, so 2,000 pounds, saves 1.4 tons of ore almost a ton of coal, a bunch of limestone, etc. And look at this, reduces air pollution by 86%, water use by 40%, water pollution by 76%. Uh, recycling aluminum, did a lot of aluminum this year, reduces CO2, CO2 emissions by 92% compared to raw aluminum and 95% uh, energy production, blah, 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 blah. So pretty dang cool. Here what is what else is cool. So obviously we made a ton of money off of scrap metal, 3,200 bucks from scrap metal. Also though, we resold a ton of stuff out of the dumpsters. I'm guessing probably around $2,000, $3,000 worth of uh, resale that we found in dumpsters. Uh, I'll show you some of my favorites as we scroll through these videos here. So in total, I'm guessing we made about $5,000 this year. And I started dumpster diving again about mid-April, so eight and a half, nine months worth of dumpster diving. And really, I haven't done much dumpster diving at all the last month and a half, so it's really six months out of the year. And six months, recycled 40,000 pounds, made $5,000 extra. And uh, I started off the year, it was kind of fun, I did this challenge where I was gonna see how long I could survive off of scrap metal. And it wasn't like a true, like, all of my expenses are paid by scrap metal, it was like if I, because I'm working a day job still, and at the time I still was as well, but the idea was because I only had uh, time after my work was finished, I was going to go find all the scrap metal that I could, uh, turn it in, get paid for it, and see if that would be enough just to cover my gas, my food, and my cell phone bills. It's like the, the hypothetical scenario was if I was living out of my truck, could I make this work? And after about 21 days, it became clear it was just it was too easy. And so I stopped the challenge then. I had more. I had enough money to go for a full month at that point. I could have just not done anything for the next 10 days and kept buying my food and been fine. Um, <laughs> the very next day I found this. So I stopped the challenge and then I found this, which was um, literally $50 worth of copper. It was a pool heater. And so it just would have you know, put, put it that much further, uh, put me that much further ahead. Looking through, okay, we had college move out weekend. This was a terrible video. I'm actually shocked that it had over 2,000 views because uh, at this point, I didn't really know what I was doing with filming and YouTube and stuff. So I was filming everything from my phone and I just had like a little dash uh, set up in my truck and I would just face it towards myself while I was driving and then flip it. And so it'd be like, filming out of the truck and you'd just see me walk up to the dumpster, pull something out, put it in the back of the truck. And it was just not a great filming experience, but we made about $500 this off of the stuff that we got this weekend. We found a paddle board that was basically brand new. We pumped it up. It worked great. Sold that for, I think 80 or a hundred dollars. We found a Nintendo table. It was literally a wood table that had a Nintendo or super Nintendo controller carved into the face of it. 
Um, that I think we sold for 50 bucks. All in all, we made about 500 bucks there. Did my first storage units. Found a lot of aluminum rims too. Made a lot of money on aluminum rims. But first storage unit, uh, we made money off the first two. About doubled the money. And then we did a few more. We'll get to those in a second. Oh my gosh, this aluminum. That was like $100 worth of aluminum in that dumpster there. Uh, went and did a bunch of church dumpsters. That was a funny weekend. Uh, let's see. Bunch of Romex. This was cool. So you can kind of see it in the thumbnail here. But there's a big old saw blade. The saw blade was about this big around. And I sold that for 100 bucks to someone who wanted it as like an antique art piece. Uh, these we haven't sold. My wife loves Adventure Time, so we just kept them. But we looked online and they don't make them anymore. And the only people selling them were selling them for like 150 or 200 bucks. So possibly 200 bucks sitting there. This was a great storage unit. We bought this for a couple hundred bucks, made four or five hundred dollars profit off of it. Let's see, homeless person unit. That was a trip. We found a, we did find a, a 14 karat gold ring in that unit, but the uh, before we bought it, we didn't realize it. But after we bought it, the, the storage unit facility managers told us the unit was owned by a homeless person. They were living out of it for several months, and it was just full of junk. There was like a bag of bread that was so moldy, like literally the whole bag was just a loaf of mold. It was nasty. There was a gallon of milk that must have been sitting in there for months because when we opened the, it was in like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a insulated lunch, like zip thing. So we unzip it and open it and it's just a gallon of milk and the smell was just, oh my gosh, it was terrible. These pay phones, I found those and sold, there's two of them, I sold them for a hundred bucks for the pair. Uh, oh my gosh, yeah, the Pokemon cards. So this is not Pokemon. This one we found, uh, this was Magic the Gathering cards. But let me just show you real quick. This box here, this entire box is full of Pokemon cards. Literally. Hundreds, maybe a thousand of them. Uh, there was this dumpster. So we do dumpster diving and you can see like that's not a small box it's in a, you know it's full to the brim uh let me go put this back real quick so we found we do dumpster diving mostly where there's new construction because what i'm looking for is metal to recycle and they throw away tons of metal lots of romex lots of aluminum lots of steel anyway there's this one place where there was some uh, completed condos on one side where people were living on and the other side of the street they were doing construction on more condos and so they had the, the dumpsters just basically lining the street in this area and there was this one dumpster and we, we, we kept going to this area because they're doing ongoing construction so there's always new stuff being thrown in and this one dumpster every time we went there was 10 or 15 or 20 packs of Pokemon cards that were just tossed in I'm not talking about like loose cards but like literally the pack of Pokemon cards with all of the cards in, except for they'd opened the top and it looks like they'd removed one card out of each uh, pack. So they were maybe hunting for a specific card, I don't know. But yeah, so we have like a box of a thousand Pokemon cards just sitting there. Uh, let's see, let's see, a bunch of Romex. This was cool, we found out during the summer when school's out for uh, you know, high school, middle school, all of the uh, teachers are throwing away a bunch of stuff and they throw away a lot of good stuff. We found a bunch of vintage books. That's right here, all these vintage books. We found a ton of scrap wires when they were throwing out like old computers and stuff and uh, a bunch of other like science equipment. Really cool, made a couple hundred dollars there. Did some junk removal jobs, 4th of July. That was a fun one. That was a hot day, it was 110 or something like that. My goodness. Found a bunch of treasure chests, those were cool. Some, this is also a school dumpster, those uh, Uncrustables. We found a box of Uncrustables that had been sitting there for a week or so. Uh, let's see, what else? Someone threw away their shed, just like a metal shed. They folded it up and threw it away, so we recycled that. This was a cool storage unit. Um, this one, as you can see, I got it for 10 bucks. The mirror that you see in the thumbnail, I sold that mirror for $500. The other furniture in there I sold for about $400 total. Uh, several pieces of furniture. There was a couple of mariachi suits I sold for $200. A mariachi guitar I sold for $300. Uh, what else was in there? 
I think that was about it. There were some other odds and ends, but overall I made $1,000 on this unit that I bought for 10 bucks. Now the unit was in Vegas, so I had to drive a few hours, rent a trailer, and bring it all back. So it was maybe $110 all in, but gosh, that was a fantastic catch there. Found a bunch of trophies. That was fun. Copper, 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 copper. Oh, my copper pours. So sad. All right, I brought the electric Chinese knockoff whatever copper melters. First one broke after like two tries. They sent me a new one for free, which was very nice of them. And then that one, the graphite crucible, it like bursted out uh, one of the sides and all the metal. I was melting copper at the time just fell into the bottom. So they don't work now. Maybe I'll get another crucible later, maybe not. But I had fun. Melt I melted maybe 10 or 12 bars and 10 or 12 coins. That was kind of fun. Uh, this storage unit, this one was wild. This one it was like an abandoned crist meta crystal energy phys metaphysical shop. We bought it for about 500 bucks all in. So that was the cost of the unit, the rental of the trailer, the uh, gas there and back. We sold... At the time, we sold two thousand dollars. I've so, I've sold now I think four thousand dollars worth of stuff out of this unit, and uh, as you can see, cost me five hundred bucks. That was a great return. In fact, this elephant right here. This is not a backdrop. This is not like a fake zoom background. This is like you can see how big this is. I like hold on to the tusk. It from uh, the bottom of its feet to the top of its trunk, it goes up about to my mid chest. It's huge. That thing online is listed for like three thousand dollars. I don't want to sell it because we already made way more than our money back here and I think it's rad. But that was from that same storage unit. This was actually the only thing we could see in the storage unit it was that and a bunch of white furniture. And so we're like, oh, yeah, you know, the elephant's cool. We'll bid on it, see what happens. And then we pulled out some of the furniture and behind it was just boxes and boxes of crystals and incense and sage. And we actually kept a lot of stuff that we gave away as gifts to friends and family. Some of it we kept for, we probably have another thousand dollars worth of stuff that we kept for ourselves or gave away as gifts. So that was a phenomenal unit. We got monetized five months ago about, monetized finally on YouTube. This was fun. That month we made about 75 bucks uh, from YouTube. And since then we've averaged maybe $30 a month. Our pace, we were, we were just pounding out the videos, getting up to this point. And then we kind of slowed down once we were monetized. I had work obligations and my wife had uh, more work obligations, etc. So that was fun. Uh, let's see. Pokemon cards. There's more Pokemon cards. You, you see like more, more. We have so many Pokemon cards. I don't even know what to do with them. Oh, I found this creepy doll. That was weird. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, this was a great one. This one, it took us like 20 minutes. We made 100 bucks. We were just driving, or like, I think we went out to lunch or something. And my wife was like, hey, let's go stop by this dumpster where they throw away all the, ex like, the mess up art prints. They print art on these big aluminum things. So they, there were some cool prints that day. But also, when we go there, we drive past this AC uh, place, air conditioning place, that throws out scrap metal on the curb for anyone to pick up. And there was a couple of big uh, AC units that they had put out on the curb as well as a bunch of sealed units and other stuff. So we made like 100 bucks of scrap in 20 minutes. And then this was funny. These two, so I was just trying this thing called trend jacking, which is apparently a method people use to grow on YouTube or social media, is if there's something trending, they'll just post about it or try to relate to it. So in this case, at the time, the thing that was trending was like, hey, ask your man how often he thinks about the Holy Roman Empire. And women were shocked at how often their men are, yeah, daily or weekly or often or whatever. And they're like, what? Why do you ever think about that? So I posted a video about it. And sure enough, 1 1.1, so 1,100 views, where these other videos, 300 views, 300, 300, right? And then all of a sudden, 1,100 views. Funny. This was when the F-35 was lost. And so we post about how we were looking for it in the dumpster. It's kind of funny. Uh, tons of wood. We started getting wood out of dumpsters this year towards the end of the year. And we've probably made $500 maybe more selling wood out of dumpsters. Again, this is new construction dumpsters. They throw away big old long sheets of plywood that maybe a corner got busted or something so they can't use it anymore or whatever else, but just like cut that off. And now you've got a nice piece. People always need plywood for pro home projects and other things. Uh, did some more videos about investing. What's funny, 
is this is how I started this channel like three or four years ago. It was around stock market stuff, and then I never really did anything with it. Picked it back up with gaming later, and then I've started mixing back in some investing stuff because that's really where I want to focus a lot of this next year's content is. It, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a lot more detailed about how much money I make from dumpster diving, and I'm going to show you that whole path of where we take that money from dumpster diving, put it into the stock market, and you can watch as our dumpster diving stock market account grows. So I actually I opened a, a Roth IRA, and I'm going to fund it exclusively with money that I make out of uh, dumpster diving and maybe storage units too because I want to max it out uh, at I think it's seven thousand dollars this year and uh, so I might need to throw some money from reselling into that but if I can do it just with dumpster diving I will if not it will be dumpster diving and scrap metal recovery I mean excuse me and storage units so reselling uh, pirate Halloween that was fun we had a really fun time we built a pirate ship out of scrap metal we, well we converted the truck the scrapping truck into a pirate ship and built a candy cannon and all sorts of stuff. Uh, let's see. This, I actually have an offer on this now. Somebody offered me $1,000 for it, but they need to figure out how to come pick it up because they live about six hours away, so I'm hoping that I make 1000 bucks off of that. That was from a, a, a junk removal job. So, super fun year. We reached almost 1,700 subscribers, which just blows me away, so thank you everybody for subscribing and watching and supporting our channel. It's just really fun having you all around. I mean, it was fun dumpster diving before, but it's even more fun now being able to share it and have you guys tell us you know, what you like, what you think. Tell us about your fun finds. It's always good stuff. So that was last year in review. 40,000 pounds. 40,000 pounds in scrap metal. $5,000 in profits. And this year it's going to be super fun because what I'm going to do, I'll be making money. In fact, I've got a load I'll be taking in maybe tomorrow maybe Thursday, maybe Friday, but this week, and I'll take that load in, get paid for it. Probably it'll be about a $100 load. Drop that money right into the stock market. We're going to start buying some stocks, and it's going to be a good old time. So thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, peace, love, and trash flow. Make sure you take that trash flow, turn it into cash flow. Catch you all later.